We use a nanophosphate and traditional lithium ion cells are using uh, what they call a cobalt oxide cathode. And so the performance differences relate to the characteristics of these materials. The nanophosphate material will uh, provide you a, a, uh, a more stable system chemically over time and give greater cycle life and much, much higher power. Uh, about five and a half years ago, we licensed this technology from MIT and then we began doing some work in the labs. We developed some batteries that are used in uh, Black & Decker DeWalt power tools. And we use that as a program to demonstrate the uh, performance of the cells, check the life of the cells, and we've been able to show that you can charge and discharge these cells for approximately 7,000 times. It compares very favorably to, to traditional lithium ion where you're looking at uh, anywhere from four to 500 charges and discharge cycles. So you get much, much more stable uh, performance. Well, GM's announced a, a couple contracts out there, one with LG um, uh, Chem in terms of supply of systems through compact power, which is separate from us completely. Another one is with Continental AG in Germany to develop and supply systems, and we are a subcontractor to Continental AG supplying lithium ion cells to their system development. This contract is important because it puts a link directly between A123 systems and GM for the development of those cells. It gains a common understanding of the problems that both of us have and we think it'll accelerate the path to market. Today's announcement is about a relationship between GM and A123 to further the development of the cells themselves, to accelerate the cell development of the technology. A little bit well, most of the work right now is mechanical engineering work in terms of developing new form factors and making sure those form factors are stable and um, mechanically solid. And the next piece of it's a big piece, is putting lots and lots of cells together in a system and making sure that system plays well together. There are um, developments of things they call state of charge algorithms and understanding how the battery's behaving so you can manage the batteries effectively in a large system. A lot of the work that they're going to have to do in the pack design is making sure that the batteries stay within some range of low and high temperature and mechanically that they maintain some, some stability in terms of shock and vibration.